so now we will see set in javascript so guys basically a javascript set is a collection of unique values and we cannot have duplicate values in this set object in javascript so guys each value can only occur once in a set so we will check this with the help of examples as well when we provide the duplicate values in a set what will happen so guys basically the values can be of any data type they can be primitive values or they can be objects as well and we are going to check the examples with numbers where we will provide duplicate numbers as well so guys how do we create a set in javascript so simply there are two ways first of all we pass the array to a new set over here so we use the new operator followed by the set keyword over here and then inside the open and close parenthesis we can pass the array so this is one way in order to create a new set and the other way is to create an empty set that is by using this particular new set expression and then we can use the add method in order to add the values so guys let us check how we can use set in javascript with the help of examples over here inside vs code so first of all we are going to create a new file over here so we will name it as set.js file in this case so guys what we will do is simply we are going to initialize a simple array over here so we have array it is equal to let's say we have five numbers this time so we have 21 22 23 24 25 which are all unique numbers now guys after this let us say we have the first two numbers that is 21 and 22 occurring again inside this array so we have 21 and 22 over here so guys since this is a simple array we can print this particular array on the terminal so let us use the console.log statement over here and simply we will use the array object over here and then after this on the terminal we will use the node command followed by the name of the javascript file so guys as you can see we have all the elements of the array that are getting printed over here now guys how do we initialize a set so simply we are going to define the set over here so we use the let keyword followed by let us say we provide set one over here it is equal to new keyword followed by the set object this time so guys basically this is the object that we use in order to create a new set followed by the open and close parenthesis over here inside this we can provide the array in this case so guys simply we have provided this particular array object inside the open and close parenthesis now let us print this particular set as well so simply we will provide set one as the object name after the array is getting printed so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so now as you can see first of all we have the array that is 21 22 23 24 25 and then followed by 21 and 22 again but if you see the set it is only having the five elements over here 21 up to 25 so it is not taking the duplicate elements that is 21 and 22 which we have defined at the end of the array over here so guys in this way if you have the requirement in order to provide only the unique values from the array or only to have unique values inside the set or only to have unique values inside an object you can define a set so that it doesn't have duplicate values now guys apart from this let us check some other methods of the set as well which are going to be very important so first of all let us check the type of the set over here of what type it is in javascript so let me just comment out these lines of code over here and simply we will have console.log statement in this case and then we will have the type string over here so simply we are going to have type and then we have the dollar symbol followed by open and close curly braces and then we will say type of this time we will be checking the type of set one which is the object so let me just save this file now and try running this code over here on the terminal so as you can see the type it is equal to object over here so guys javascript does not have a data type called set over here but set is getting represented with the help of the object data type in this case so as you can see we have just confirmed by using the type of operator over here apart from this we can also use the add method in order to add the elements inside the set so guys first of all let let us print the original set over here so simply we will have the console.log statement and then we have the set one that is the original set so as you can see we have the set that is getting printed 
and then followed by the type of this particular set which is object this time now guys what we will do is let us use this particular add method in order to add the element so simply we will use the set one that is the object name over here followed by the dot character and then we have the first method as you can see this is the add method over here which appends a new element with a specified value to the end of the set so let me just use this add method and let's say we provide the number 30 so is 30 already present in this particular set no in this case so 30 number should be added to this set over here so now if we again provide the console.log statement in order to print the set once again so let me just run this code once again over here as you can see the updated set is now having the extra element that is 30 this time so in this way you can add new elements to the set object in javascript apart from this let us check whether a specific element is present inside the set by using the has method over here so simply we will use the console.log statement and then let us check whether the 25 number is present inside the set so simply we will have the dollar symbol and then we will have set one followed by dot and then we have the has method over here and simply we will provide the 25 as the number if the number is present inside this set then this particular has method will return the true value or else it will return the false value so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we are getting true value that's because 25 is present what if we provide 26 over here let us see what will be the output so when we run this code once again so as you can see we are getting false that's because 26 number is not present inside this set so guys in this way you can check whether a specific element is present inside the set by using the has method apart from this we can also use the for each method in order to print the elements of the set so let us check that as well so over here simply we have to use the set object over here so we have set one followed by dot and then we have the for each method so guys over here we will use the arrow function so simply we will provide the value variable followed by the combination of these special characters that is equal to symbol and the greater than symbol over here and then simply we will have the console.log statement wherein we will provide the value that is provided as the parameter so simply it is going to print all the elements inside the set object so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see all the elements from 21 22 up to 30 are getting printed over here if i expand this terminal you can see the executions of the previous lines of code as well that we had already checked now guys apart from this we have some more methods as well so let us check what will be the output when we use the values method so guys over here it is simply going to return all the values of the set object so let us check that as well simply i'm going to comment out this line of code since all the elements are getting printed on the new line over here and we will have the console.log statement we will have set one followed by dot and then we have the values method over here and since it is a method we have to use the open and close parenthesis so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see it is providing all the values that are present inside the set apart from this we can also use the keys and the entries method as well now guys both these methods are specifically provided to the map object but since the set and the map have the common data type we can use these methods for the set as well but this time the keys and the entries will only return us the values that are present inside the set so let us check that as well so over here simply instead of values we will provide keys and then again instead of values we will provide entries over here let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal if you notice what will be the output of the keys and values over here in this case we had used the values method and that is how we are getting all the values and for the keys method as well we are getting the same output but in case of entries over here we are getting the key value pair in which case both the pair is showing the same value that is the element that is present inside the set so we have 21 21 then we have 22 22 and so on we have the key value pairs over here in which case the key is equal to value and already we have the value of the set over here that is getting displayed so guys always remember that entries method will return us the key value pairs in this form whenever we are going to use the set object in javascript so guys in this way you can easily 
easily use the set in JavaScript and always remember that you are going to have the unique values whenever you are going to define the set elements over here. So comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. I'll see you in the next video in which we are going to work on an exercise on arrays and set in JavaScript. So stay tuned.